There are five people in a room. They are allowed to choose whether they want to shake hands or not. If they shake hands, they can only shake hands with a person once. What is the least number of people who have the same number of handshakes? All of the five people can only do zero, one, two, three, or four handshakes. None of them can do five handshakes because there are only five people and nobody can handshake themselves. Therefore, I have these five pigeonholes. Zero handshakes, one handshake, two handshakes, three handshakes, and four handshakes. Can each person be in each pigeonhole? If one person does not handshake, then it is not possible to have one other person to shake hands with four other people. Can these five people fill the remaining four pigeonholes? If this person cannot have four handshakes, can this person have three handshakes? Let's check. So now there are two people in the same pigeonhole with three handshakes. So the green person can handshake with these three people, the orange person, the blue person, and the purple person. And the blue person can handshake both the green person and the purple person. The orange person has already shaken hands with the green person. There are three boxes left. So the purple person can handshake both the blue person and the green person. But oh no, the purple person cannot handshake himself or herself. So the pigeonhole with two people, which is the three handshakes pigeonhole, cannot possibly have the purple person. Or maybe the purple person could have two handshakes. Let's check. The green person can handshake with the orange person, the blue person, and the purple person. So the orange, the blue and the purple people have already handshaked with the green person. So the blue person can handshake the purple person and the purple person can handshake the blue person to fill in the two remaining empty boxes. This proves that as we have four choices, at least two people need to be in the same pigeonhole.